w wait a minute. Is that 60? I see. Oh my god. I are you... Are you joking? You gotta be, because the world is optional. That... Like optional. Oh, okay. So we can leave this planet, I guess. Trade brains for bolts. Okay, so we... Yeah. I'm sure if I gave... Uh, like, all that's saying is if I gave him more brains, he'd give me uh, bolts in return. Brains. Up to six. Brains. I like pork brains. Mm. Go up to that store and get me some. Yeah, get you some. Pork brain. In milk. Or come. Where should we go? The navigation computer indicates. What the hell is this place? Ooh, a new place. Oh my god. It's blue my... this time instead of orange. Oh, blue the planet. <laughs> Look at how blue this is. Oh, Battalia. I wonder what goes on there. Rule Battalia. Get to the Star Watch, or get to the Starfleet Defense Cannon, and drill really as blah blah blah. place named Battalia is less... Oh, damn it. This Le place just feels like every Star Wars movie. Yeah. They all just kind of meld together for me. Just a bunch of crap going Pretty on. Star Warsy. Yeah. And it's like less hazardous for me than the other place, so that's good. I forgot I, forgot I don't have a jetpack. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I gotta remember what, uh... The grapple button. What's the grapple button? Oh, wait. I'm forgetting everything. Do you actually hit that water, or you, do you just sonic adventure your way through the water? <laughs> like, just kinda... Go down to the layer of the water, and the water moves up and down. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh look! Oh, no! Yeah. You do hit it. Yeah, I did hit it. Okay. With a splash. Oh, wow. Sonic adventure your way down there. Okay, so square. No. Uh, L1. No. L2. No. R2. Is it O? Yes. Oh, it's O? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Whoa, you guessed right. <laughs> Whoa, radical. Wait, what? Dude, this is so cool. Like, holy shit, man. Like, I have loved this since 2002. Like, yeah. Or wherever. Yeah, wow. Rad. I can't stop loving this. Did anyone ask themselves if this belonged in Rat Like, did this type of thing be a part of this series? Like, nope. I hope The Last of Us 2 has this. The Last of Us 2, <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Ratchet, the blower guard advancing towards Starwatch. We could really use your help right now. There's a series I care about. I can't wait for The Last of Us 2. Oh yeah. Uncharted but pretentious. Uh huh. That's what I like. Like the that I like a, that ending is gonna be so thought provoking. I know, it's gonna really it's gonna cause debate. You're gonna actually gonna make it ask questions. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I remember about The Last of Us 1. I've watched yeah. an entire Let's Play of it. I remember 
man shoot and uh, and the ending being thought provoking. This is important. This is more than a game. Okay? Oh yeah, it's important. There's a greater truth at play here. Uh -huh. Okay, this is starting a conversation. Yeah. Hey, Here's what we're doing. Grim here. Been following your adventures, and I couldn't be happier for you. Listen, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I have a brother on Pocataro. His name's Felton. We don't talk much on account of him being a bit of a slacker, but he sent me a distress call this morning. He said Trek was attacking Pocataro with these hydro harvester things. I guess the Blarg want their ocean water for something. I just I realized Drek is the villain from Shrek. Really? <laughs> no, but... Uh, no, no. But okay. it's... Am I it's, wrong all these years? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's Shrek's, uh, like, dark form. Shrek. Oh, okay. Shadow Shrek. Yeah. They okay. really... Shrek fans really hate it when you claim that Shrek is Drek. Because they look exactly the same. Oh, don't worry. The illumination is working on the new one. Fifty percent of the probably the will have Shadow Shrek. The illumination, yeah. <laughs> oh god. I hope there's minions in the new Shrek movie. Uh -huh. Honestly, I hope it's everywhere. It's full of minions in the new Shrek movie. The Shrek Five Shadow Shrek uh, with minions all over the place. And Shrek can turn into a minion at some point. I love the little corn, the little bits of corn. I love seeing them on Facebook. Oh yeah. The meme corn. Yeah, meme, meme corn. For, uh, <laughs> for boomers on Facebook. <laughs> Boomer meme corn. Oh yeah, single mom boomer meme corn. I can't get it up. Posting a weird, like, this meme corn image has been saved and reposted so many times. It's, it's like authentically deep fried like it's natural deep fried <laughs> on these mom, fa mom facebook meme corn posts <laughs> that are actually deep fried and they don't even know mm -hmm. otherwise known as a wild fry when it's fried in the wild naturally a wild fry it's like kind of getting like a pre-range chicken you're getting free range deep fry or wild fry. It's really, it's really good. You ever taste oh, it? Oh yeah. No, I didn't. You won't. You you don't want to go back to a, like fast food deep fry once you had it. But I, you have to go on Facebook and look up uh, minions memes to get it though. Oh, okay, yeah. You can get wild fry. Free range. Free range artifacting on the image. <laughs> <laughs> Free range artifacts. That's what. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Boy, um, this looks like. Oh, oh, damn! Now I need chocolate. Oh uh, yeah, need chocolate now. Did you ever wake up in the morning and be like, "Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee"? And meme corn is saying that. Mm hmm. Oh, because so, they're like us. So funny. <laughs> they boom and they zoom just like and us. This, this particular meme corn image has been uh, reposted by all of this person's friends. All 8,000 friends. Yeah. All reposted. There we go. Everyone's seen it. Oh, man. Ah, oh, a card. And all of this person's friends are fake friends that you had them make when you were playing some game on Facebook. And if you make them your friend, then you send them an invite every day, they'll get 50 gold coins. Oh yeah. On the... You need that stuff. Yeah. You don't want to spend actual money on them. No. You can beat the whole game without spending money, you know. It's you don't money. have to spend a cent. You can beat slots without know, spending any money. You can, you can, like... You can do the whole thing without paying any money. I wonder how... The, uh, some of the, uh, like the principal, uh, principal investors in some of these free-to-play games and some of their board members and maybe even some of the game directors, like how angry they might get looking at that one player who beat all the content. What? Oh, no! How did you do that? He's made always... it impossible. Yeah. 
this particular character has played for 80,000 hours and hasn't played one game. Now he gets to brag about it when people are criticizing the game. God damn it. God damn it, he did it all free. Now he's advertising for us. Damn it. He logs in every day and leaves the game idle for five hours to collect something. <laughs> yeah. Every day for the past eight years. Oh my god. Maybe we should have put some gameplay in it. Damn it. Hindsight is 20 20 though. We need to extend the bridge. Hop on that crank. in on that person's face. You see that? What? What is that person? Oh, she's the, um, one of the pseudo humans. The weirdo guys. There are no humans, there are only people. Mm. Um. Uh, what, what crank? Where is it? <laughs> this is Ratchet and Crank, right? Like, what, what's, what's the, oh, here it is. Okay, I gotta not die for I wonder if you can actually do that without killing these guys, but it's somehow we get Uh... Okay, that was good. <laughs> Dude, are, just... you, are you playing Sonic right now? Yo! Damn, boy, what? Wait, 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 wait! Stop! Oh my god, I, I don't like how... Just tapping that button, like, puts me in a situation I don't like. Okay, uh... Dude, can you just send a mob like a, uh... ...all those layer grenades down there? Stellar mass explosion. Grenade down there and destroy it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you want the portable stellar mass ejection. Universe creation grenade? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, health. Health needed. Dude, just throw down the, uh, the plant level matter inversion device down there. Props to anyone who knows what plant level is. I have no idea. P-L-A-N-C-K. Uh, it's... Planck? Uh, a physicist, Max Planck. Planck of this idea. A theoretical, uh, Theoretical smallest, smallest area yeah. of space. Yeah. Like you know how you have a sphere of energy. Yeah. Okay. Whatever is infinitely small is Planck. Mm -hmm. that's the limit. Is Planck level? Is as uh, small as something could possibly be? Oh, so that's just Planck level. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Planck. Like so. I Planck. thought you were re referring to something else. No, Planck. That's that is. So it's like the Planck level. Yeah. Below quantum. That's Planck down there. Whatever that is. It's theoretical because we can't. Look on. Get over here. You can't quite say if you hit the plank level you can do it for there. Anyway. The plank level matter inversion device is uh, very bad. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Stop! Ah, God! <laughs> Who do you think you are? You piece of shit. God damn it, they're back. Why can they bury underground? They're not Radical Larry. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna get that joke. You'd have to see that one picture. Yeah, I know. Vibrates through the wall. Yeah, it's uh, It's old. Many problems. Okay, these guys are dealt with. I'm not gonna get tricked again. No! I'm not getting tricked again. 
just throw down the strong, the strong nuclear force retention. Loosenator down there. Just throw down the bit level uh, corruption <laughs> gray. <laughs> It, it flips like three bits in the program and then it just fucks everything up. Ooh. Yeah, there's only so far you can go. There's like yeah. level of destruction. I don't know what to go, where to go from here. You do like matter, antimatter uh, transposition device where it just uh. Anything this touches turns to antimatter and immediately reacts with the matter around it, causing an explosion. Uh -huh. So you'll react with the positive matter air Whoa. around you and then convert to energy in a one to one conversion. One to one energy conversion. There. Yeah. I think you can't go beyond that. A one to one ratio energy conversion into <laughs> There we go. And there's the pistol I Um I tried to cut it around. Oh it's this thing, yeah. Localized spatial inversion. Localized spatial inversion. And that is, is uh, in a uh, a uh, ten foot diameter sphere around the active area. Space inverts so that everything inside is on the outside, and everything on the outside is on the inside. Oh yeah. So basically, where he was is where air occupies now. And the outer rim of the sphere is occupied by his body. In flesh form. Does that sound good? Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I want a grenade that ships, uh... You know... Uh... Ships every anything in one absolute direction a certain distance. <laughs> like shift object in shift object in cardinal direction infinitely fire grenade. Yeah. <laughs> so like it's just you just you teleport just sends someone it as far to the as end it of the universe. Go. Yeah. Teleport someone to uh, teleport to end of universe. <laughs> Have fun. It just takes your position as being zero 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 coordinates and translates it to infinite infinite infinite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In three point three zero coordinates. Whatever that is, I don't know. Wherever or whatever it is. Nine repeating. Yeah. Just nine repeating. Or like you know how in games you can go uh you can change your uh sub pixel positioning and sometimes it changes the way you behave uh when colliding with objects and stuff like that. Like uh you do that somebody? half plank plank length uh movement. Oh. Like it just shifts you half a plank length and then you can't be you can't exist anymore. I must to make somebody so some of their atoms are huge. Think about that one. Whoa. Yeah. Some of their atoms are bigger than normal. Oh god. No, no. I don't know what that would be. It's just like... He's misolated. <laughs> makes particles larger or something. Right. Like it makes light large and... I don't know what that... What, no, what it's a wear scale. You know what a wear scale? Oh god. Oh, yeah, yeah. It does a funny thing to images. If you had an aware scale gun in real life... Really mess people up. 
trying so hard to avoid you. Yeah. Because they're all so crazy. They can really work hard to not do this. And besides, uh, gold experience wrecking him uh, would just counter all. Oh, I know. It's gold experience wrecking him can beat everything I just said. <laughs> yeah. As long as it needs to touch something. As long as it, something needs to happen for it to have an effect. Yeah. <laughs> It can be countered by sure use the turn to zero. Uh -huh. That's what it sounds like. It's like the A to B function on a video player. They select this point in time and A and B are going to be set in the story. So if you do something really bad, you'll just do it forever. Can you imagine a game? Can you imagine how to make a game ah. where you could use King Crimson? How hard that would be. Yeah, I know. Right now, imagine if you could pause this and uh, the game would calculate the nominal, most common possible movement options that happen in the game world preset. You zoom ahead and then stop and then you move somewhere and then return and all the enemies are where they would have ended up but no time pass. I can't even explain it. But <laughs> yeah. imagine how hard that would be to do. Because you'd have to work safely. You have to be able to you know, it's easy for a game to like stay free where you turn back on it. Yeah. But imagine something that makes a really good sense of time to hold. Um... <laughs> Do I think you could play Mario Bros and fast forward it? Well... When hmm. you play it. Like, thinking about it seriously, you can make a computer that, uh, plays chess. Like, people make computers to play chess really well. Like, uh, on the level of any machine. Because chess is just a matter of, uh, you know, making optimal moves. Yeah. Um, if you can predict ahead far enough, you can decide what's, what the perfect move is. Yeah, but you can use King Crimson to see what the computer is going to do next. And then reposition your chess piece in the middle of the other, in the middle of the computer's turn. Pause him. See what he's going to do. Put your chess piece where you want it to be, and then this is it. Is that a good question? Where you can move your piece in the middle of their turn. See what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. Help. Goal experience directly in the chess, you could just tell the other player to put the piece back to it. Yeah. No. No. And the piece just goes back where it was. Hey, whoa, whoa, what? That's what that's like. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Something shooting at me? Okay. That just shows you how powerful you have to be. You bitch! That'll show you There's uh, always one! How oh. powerful you actually have to be to beat King Crimson. Because the stand arrow created gold experience requiem to beat it. That's the only way to actually beat it, to do that. The Blarg who helped the Galactic Rangers beat their end will get an all expenses pay trip to the third ring of Holabash. Parties. Holabash, that sounds Hebrew. Holabash? Yeah. Sounds like a party. It's a big ol' Holabash. A big ol' Holabash. Down Louisiana. I wish I could go, like, Diavolo had King Crimson naturally. That was his thing. Imagine how great it would be for your whole life to have that thing. Turrets can be a 
Real yeah, that, that's why I become, became such a smug asshole. But oh yeah. my god, it's amazing. Yeah, you get complacent. I don't know why I became a mob boss though. Like, you'd think you'd be, go reach higher than that. He should have been the president of the US. No, he should have just uh, played the lottery. Like, <laughs> go to a no, or a horse race is probably better. Yeah. Because you can only see a few minutes ahead, mm -hmm. and just see if what horse is gonna do good or something. I don't know. Just play games. Ow. You'd eventually win all the money you wanted. Yeah. The young Lombacks knew that he needed and no, people would stay out of your hair. As long as you're smart about it. You just really need to win the lottery once. Then like. Keep your life in check using your power. Yeah, but then they also kind of. They got a cop out for that because, according to Iraq, you scan users naturally find each other. Oh. That yeah. creates problems for people. Mm -hmm. They naturally attract each other, so eventually. Okay, that's not gonna work. It would, you would attract a scan user who could eventually stop you, right? So you'd have to, like, do something, I don't know. Even though your stand seems unbeatable. Magna boots. What? Do you Surface looks ionized. Start you Try using your magna boots. I can't shoot. I think it's on that thing on the left. Okay, hold on. Perhaps his Magna Boots could be of some assistance. Yeah, look, look to your left. It's that thing, right? The Half-Life thing? Wait, what? what? That's the Half-Life? Oh, yeah. That thing? yeah. That's it. Okay. I forgot this existed. Nice little effect on this. Wow. Cool. Too bad it's just like a set piece. Yeah. God, this, this is friggin' awesome in Metroid Prime, though. When you get the spider ball, yeah. and you do this shit, and uh, it's not a set piece, like it's part of the world, and you have to use it to find things. Mm -hmm. In Metroid Prime 2, there's like an entire boss fight you need to play, like, hugging onto the wall like this. Oh, yeah. In more fall form. all the time. So if you left now, it'll be perfect right back here? Yeah, uh, kind of. Okay. Close to your end. I don't have any weapons that can hit things in the sky. Just that. use most of your vehicles. Ooh. Oh yeah, where's, where's Uncle Burke gone? There we go. Weird Uncle Zircon. He's a real hoot at Thanksgiving. He killed Zircon. No. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Wait a minute. Go back. What? Uh oh, it starts after look keep walking. Look at the ground. I'm sorry I can't be there with you today, but you know. Why does it keep going into the floor? Uh oh. What's this? Why is that like this? What's this? <laughs> what? 
Hmm. Well, I think we should end on that note. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm very tired. Um. Yeah, All we'll right. continue off from that's, here. That's catching right. Yep.